In this video, we're just gonna look at a basic exercise for the shoulders. Of course, there's loads of different exercises you can do for the shoulders, but this one's particularly effective, I find. The setup, of course, everything else should follow the alignment points. Watch the alignment points video if you haven't, the standing practice video. Um, I need my feet with toes pointing forward, weight distributed evenly, the knees are released and over the feet, the hips are open, the quad is relaxed sinking through the chest, shoulders open and relaxed, and we'll get back to them in a sec, um, and opening the back of the neck by either turning around the jaw or gently tucking the chin and elevating the head. For this exercise, we have a couple of details and I'll explain it first with one arm, but we typically do it with two arms at once. Um, the idea is we want to pay attention to this region here that's between the pectoral muscle and the deltoid, shoulder and chest basically for people who don't know their anatomy. There's this region here that tends to collapse like this and you see all the wrinkles go on there and with it collapsed, it affects the lungs for one. The lungs don't have as much space to expand through this region. You've got a bunch of acupuncture points for the lungs in that region too. If they're closed, uh, that struggles. And also the shoulder disconnects from the lat, which is what we're more interested in right now. To get the shoulder to reconnect with the lat, I need a couple of ingredients. One, I need this region to open out as if it flattens through here. And you'll see very clearly people who have this nice open region here, it seems flat, it seems relaxed, it almost seems a little inflated. And when that happens, the shoulder tends to then sit back and down on the latissimus dorsi. The latissimus dorsi is this big muscle here, and it actually goes all the way down to the lower back and creeps up. And if you follow it up, it inserts in the armpit, which is really interesting. The lat is the big driving muscle for the arms if it's connected. It's a little bit like the glutes for the legs. If I don't have the lat connected to the arm, and you see the size of this muscle, it literally takes up my, almost my entire back. If I don't have the lat connected to the arm, all the work I do with my arm is gonna come from delts, from trap, from shoulders, and uh, up on the back of the neck here. And if that's happening, you're gonna be sore real quick. I don't care how buff your delts are, they're never, ever, ever as strong as a lat. The muscle's like four times as big. So learn to use the lat to drive the arms is the idea. To do that, we need to teach the arms to release down onto the lat until the shoulder sits on the lat like a kind of one of those Greek pedestal things with the giant ball sitting on the pedestal. It's gonna sit down heavily on the lat if we release the shoulder enough. To do this, we take our arm and this position is really nice because it just forces the elbow to be down, which is one of the main cues people use to help get this engagement with, between the arm and the lat. Um, once you learn how to do it with elbow down, you can keep the engagement and have the elbow risen and extending and all the rest, but you first need to learn to do it elbow down, it's easier. So we take the hand and we wanna touch the top of the shoulder or uh, your best effort for now. It might be the front for you for now, but you just wanna let the fingers rest on the top of the shoulder here. It doesn't really matter how they rest all together or se separated. Um, but mainly what this does is that it externally rota rotates the arm to give this region a chance to open and to give the arm a chance to sit back on the lat. From here, if I already just try and keep my elbow where it is, but let the shoulder relax as much as possible, you might find the lat there already. But we can use the exercise to help. We are going to travel backwards because the backwards direction helps the thing we're trying to um, discover. Once you have backwards and it works okay, then you can try getting the same thing forwards. So we're going to let the elbow sink down heavily by relaxing the shoulder and let this region here open. Then I'm going to bring the elbow forward, trying to keep this nice and relaxed. Up, if I can feel my lat already, I want the lat to kind of stretch and push the shoulder up. If I can't feel the lat yet, just focus on releasing the shoulder, releasing the shoulder, releasing the shoulder as you go up. Then you come to the top 
At the top, I just let gravity do its work as the elbow travels backwards and down. All of this next part needs to just be a complete release of the shoulder under the action of gravity until you get back to the bottom. Up, I kind of open and inflate through the lat to help it drive the elbow up to the top. And then I release, 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 particularly through the shoulder in this area, back down until I come down. And I just keep going through that, inflating and releasing the arm to go up, and then just letting gravity drag the arm down and back onto the lat. Over and over and over again. Of course, like I mentioned, we need to do this with both arms at once. I'll show it from the side so you can see. I first just let the arms relax heavily on the lats. This might be a bit gross to begin with. It'll rest on all sorts of dank, weak points. Then I inflate through the lats to help the elbows rise while the shoulders stay released. I come around to the top. At the top, I just let gravity do its thing. I release the shoulders, letting the elbows fall down and back onto the lats. Down, 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 down to the bottom. And then inflate the elbows. And this feels a little bit like there's an external agent pulling the elbow up by a string while the shoulders stay completely relaxed. And then I just release the shoulders down and back. And I want to keep going through that however many times I can handle following that action. And then when I'm done, I specifically release, 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 release the arms. And as they fall, you should feel them fall heavily onto the lats. And now they will feel sitting heavily on the lats. And you want to listen to that. Just listen to that whole region. It's all of this here, all of this here. Just listen to that connection through there, all the sensations that are coming through that region. For me at the moment, it's connecting way down into my little finger, which is nice. And I stay there for as long as I need or want. And then when I'm done, I can do a nice little closing routine of any kind that you like. And then I'm finished.